It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And coming up, it'll be no hose barred between NFC North rivals. It's the Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings. And it's all up next. U.S. Bank Stadium holds just under 70,000 spectators, and they've come out in full force for this one. A fantastic atmosphere here in Minneapolis. Today we've got what's always a hard-hitting battle in the NFC North, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Minnesota Vikings. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. When started and we are underway from Minneapolis. On the return, here's Tyler Scott. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. Fields passing on the first play from scrimmage. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Fields. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Two yards, good enough for a first. Ordinarily in short yardage, most people don't run a toss because it takes a little bit longer to develop. But some teams see it as a very physical type run because the amount of people that get out in front of the runner, offensive lineman, tight end, sometimes an extra back, they like to run that play there and try and run over people. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there with a defense. 
defense still made an excellent play and held them to no game. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. And here's Fields. And that is incomplete. This Minnesota D up to the task on the third down pass play. The offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in the game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. Santos' kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Following the made field goal, out instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. Kene Nwagu now out of his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Minnesota's offense and QB Kirk Cousins set to go here. And one nice thing you can always say about Kirk Cousins is that he's consistent. Always puts up nice numbers each and every year. If there is a downside to his game, it's been the lack of playoff success. All in all, though, a formidable starting quarterback at a time in the league where it's tough to find your franchise guy. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Now a second and 10. From the gun, here's Cousins. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap, to stay in bounds and complete the catch. Yeah, a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And here's Taylor on the return. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. Second down, eight to go from the 28. As they've got it as we resume action. Second down, they go back to Herbert. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge. And that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. 
Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll run with Herbert. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Give him six yards and they do convert on third. It wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went in and went heavy. No surprise on who was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. Now it's Fields off the bootleg. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Oh, yes, that was good pressure applied that time by the defensive unit. They forced him out wide to his left, but with nobody home, he decided to tuck it and go. And he's able to turn it into a short game. Second and five. A toss left side for Herbert. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing our score. And they'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Fields. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 16 yards is the pickup there on a first down for Chicago. Now it's Fields. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Here's Fields now on second down. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they could at least attempt to kick before the half, and he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them into field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. On first and ten, here's Fields. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Back to throw, Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. 
He hit his first, this one from 38. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will do it for this first half. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6-0 is our count at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. This Coach. has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Vikings set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail it here as we resume play. This taken in right around the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And maybe time for this offense to really hit the reset button. They were shut out in the first half, but still, they're right in this game. They certainly are. What I like about it is that you actually continue to play. You know, you just find a way to make a few plays yourself, and you noted it. Right there on the border in this game, they're not that far off. He's got to find a play or two, and they could be very happy at that point. Cousins now to throw on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one in second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now Cousins. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run the rocks. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll run on first down with Akers and give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. They go play action. Cousins. There's Jefferson to pull that in. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 26. A good pick up there, 26 yards. But look what we have here, a sustained drive. And that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Play fake. Cousins. This is caught. And he 
doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A good pickup there, 26 yards. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. There's Hackinson in the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Vikings have even the ball game with a chance to take the lead here in the final minute of this third quarter. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Joseph connects on the extra point, and they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and ten. From the gun, here's Fields. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Here's Fields. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. He'll get nine yards on the keeper there, but it's still going to leave him with a third and one. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Now Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Bears first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. On first down, Fields. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and ten. A 
A shotgun snap, Fields. He'll get that underneath to Herbert. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. To throw his fields. Flushed out right. Nifty move. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 41-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Fields now to throw. That pass complete to Moore. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They'll come up first and ten here. Herbert powering up the middle. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, Hard to get them started again occasionally. Here's second down. Herbert once more. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Bears answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Now Fields rolling to his right. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And that helps. That gives him a seven-point lead. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So Cousins and the Vikings down 14-7. Less than 90 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Cousins. Pass complete. It's Hawkinson. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Cousins. And a throw here caught by Addison. 
I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big gain. Now second and four. Cousins to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here a hundred times. Nothing good is going to happen. And if you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Here's first down. Now Cousins. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Another try, second and ten now. Cousins. Complete to Addison on the out route. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. They still got two timeouts. Got to start using them, don't they? You absolutely have to. You save them for this situation, but you have to use them. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. A big play looming on third down. He's back to throw. And he is caught. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them inbounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle an out route. That, that's not the way you're supposed to play. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And now time for one final play that has to be obviously in the end zone. Can't wait to see what they call, but you want to get it to your best player. Sometimes you have to do it by formation, move everyone to one side, and maybe he gets a one-on-one -on -one isolated on the backside. One last shot now for Cousins. And it's caught. It's a touchdown with zeros on the clock, and an extra point will send us to OT. Well, there's no doubt they just seized the momentum with that one. They can go ahead and kick the extra point here and ride that home wave on into overtime. Now for the all-critical extra point. He's got it. No problems there. The extra point up and good, and we are headed to overtime. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime to this timeout. So the Vikings going to get the first chance to possess the football as we are back underway here in overtime. Nwangu now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. And the Vikings now heading on to the field. 
So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. T.J. Edwards coming in for that outside linebacker spot, and he buries him for a loss of seven. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. In need of a third and 10 conversion to keep this opening drive of OT alive. Here's Cousins. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Well, their defense did its job. Now they're going to get the football with a chance to win it. And it feels like they ran out on the field, and right before they did, they told the offense, don't worry about this. We got you. Okay, we got the situation under control. We'll get it back for you for a chance to win the game. And, boy, they did it well. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. To return is Taylor. A solid 12-yard return after the 55-yard punt. And they will take over first and 10. The Chicago offense set to get started. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. Fields throw there, complete to Mooney. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Here's a give to Herbert. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. On first down, it's Fields. That's complete to Mooney. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. A handoff for Herbert. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So first and 10 now from the 30. Fields. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stun silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. As the fans exit back out through the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness 
Hurts the guys at the concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> Not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans streaming out unhappy. But the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, David. I kind of figured that was coming. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.